over here where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Welcome to Sunday morning at the Herald. We are located at 727 East 27th Street in the beautiful city of Norfolk, Virginia. Our pastor and our shepherd is none other than the Bishop, Dr. Ronald A. Sewell Sr. And our first lady is none other than the elect lady, Dr. Alberta Marie Sewell. Come on over here so we can wrap our arms around you and show you the love of Christ, where the word is being preached, where the word is being taught. Come on over here where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Welcome to Sunday morning at the Herald.
say, my hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs to you. Jesus. Jesus. 
Jesus. Come on, say it with me. Stand and stand and proclaim.
D.C. area, Maryland, and New York. She's been a witness and shared the gospel in Alaska, Oklahoma, Missouri, Tennessee, New Jersey, Jesus. Connecticut, and even overseas. She's an educator. She's a teacher in our Sunday School District Ministry. She received a master's and bachelor's degree in theology from the Tidewater College of Theology. She loves this ministry. She loves the leaders here. She loves the family. And she loves our leader, Dr. Sewell. We see this woman of God after, after the next selection, Evangelist Laureen Hall, hailing from Columbus, Georgia. We see her at that time.
first give an honor to our bishop in the name of Jesus. Pastor Ronald A. Sewell, Sr. To my first lady, Dr. Alberta Marie Sewell. To my husband, Elder Ella Hugh Hall. And all of my children, grandchildren. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the herald of his coming church ministry. Praising my Savior all the day long. Praising my Savior. He's my Savior all the day long. What's his name? His name is Jesus. That's my thing. Hey, glory. Jesus Christ. The lily of the valley. Jesus Christ. My bright and morning star. I'm in love with Jesus. What about you? Glory to God. To our social media. Glad to have you. But I want to know from you. And you. Have you been born again? Woo! Hallelujah. The offer is out there. Have you been born again Jesus Lord of Lords Jesus my way maker Jesus my hope Jesus Jesus Christ I'm going to be reading my text from Isaiah 53. We've been talking about him all morning. The suffering servant. Hallelujah. And I'm going to start at the, I want to read the third, and I'm going to skip uh, the fourth and the fifth. I'll just start right there. He is despised. And rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Verse 4 Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we did not esteem him stricken and yet we did esteem him stricken smitten of God and afflicted verse 5 but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with and with his stripes, we are healed. May God bless his word. I thought about a new day of dunning. Now, what does that word mean, dunning? A new beginning, a fresh start, sunrise and hope. Do you remember when you were lost in a world of sin? Do you recall that you were not connected to Jesus Christ? A new day brings with it new hope, new mercies, and great possibilities. We didn't have any hope when we were unsaved. We didn't know that Jesus Christ is the one and the only one 
only name whereby you could be saved. The darkness is wiped away and the brightness of the morning shines. In this dawning, we find a bright and shining sun covering us across an expansive sky. It's radiant beams of light carrying healing. Do you need some healing today? Do you need healing in your body? Healing in your mind? Healing in your soul? Healing in your heart? Well, a new day is dawning. Jesus Christ has come. Jesus Christ is risen, resurrected. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Healing and restoration from the very core, which is Jesus Christ. Only through him. Moreover, we, the children, the believers, we are promised in Isaiah 30 and 26 that the light of the moon will be as the light of the sun. Darkness, remember, you was in darkness, is replaced higher with light. I'm talking about that light on the inside that shines brighter on the outside. That's the light I'm talking about. And that light is Jesus. Oh, glory to God. And it's in this day that the Lord binds up the bruise of his people and heals the stroke of their wounds. Now, what am I talking about? For the children who will come to us, souls that are going to come in, People that's coming in, in the name of Jesus, they, they have been bruised, broken, and rejected. But today, there's a new day of hope will rise in the light of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. They will find healing because surely he's already borne our grief and carry our sorrows. You don't have to walk around sick. You don't have to walk around carrying hurt, pain. Some of us are carrying hurts from past times. But you don't have to anymore. Because he was wounded. Did you hear me? He was wounded for what? Our transgressions. Your sins. All have sinned and come short. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, we're healed. Healed from depression. Healed from not loving yourself. Healed. From all unrighteousness, all sin. Isaiah 53, 4 and 5. This healing work has already been provided. For in the remedy for our broken hearts, our pain, our struggles, our afflictions, our loss, our being tormented, lies in Jesus because he heals our broken heart and he binds up the wounds. Before we got saved, we were in a world of trouble. I didn't know what kind of trouble I was in. I thought I was serving God, singing in the choir, ushering, I thought I was really serving God. You can tell me I was a born again Christian. But, hallelujah, 
wounds and healings we need. Wounds of sadness. Wounds of wanting to give up. Wounds, open wounds that are still bleeding. Band-Aids won't help you. Tylenol won't help you. Only thing going to help you is Jesus Christ. Because when he heals, he makes you whole. You'll learn how to love yourself. You'll learn how to love others. You know, I'm good at taking you a dinner and a gift. Because I don't want to open my mouth and say I'm sorry. Or I don't want to love on you. I'm going to take you this dinner, but shoot. I ain't coming back over here. Hallelujah. Shouldn't have never got in that trouble until you get in it. You didn't know it was going to be knocking on your door. Judge not. You don't want to be judged? Then don't judge others. In fact, you might not lay before God long enough to be a spiritual judger. I tell you what, I don't want to knock it at my door, so I'm going to love you in spite of. But that's, that's okay. Jesus died on the cross, was buried, but I love that song. But that's not the end of the story. That's not how the story ends. Woo! He got up. He got up. Yes, he did. That's why you're here today. Because he got up. I'm not talking about you got up this morning. Hey, glory. I'm talking about Jesus. He got up. The resurrected Christ. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted. He is the healer. Binding up our injuries. And sometimes you are hurt, and it's not your fault. Sometimes you're misunderstood. Sometimes you're even hated. But that's not your fault. Just don't let nothing get in your heart. Because you don't have to give an account for what I do. Amen. God loves you and will comfort you during hardships. How many know that's the truth? I'm in some hardships now. I'm going through some hard things now. But God, he's there. Uplifted hands waiting on you to call on him. Armor yourself. You don't have to lose your mind but you won't armor yourself. You won't acquiesce that he is the risen Christ. You got to do that. He strengthens us. He is my strength. That song just follow me while I'm at home. I could hear Sister Aisha singing that song. He is my strength. And that gets me through hardship, hard times, that song, that song. And uh, sometimes Bishop Seward, it comes to me when Sister Wilson is singing that song. I got a right. I got a right to praise God for what he's done for me. Through the pain, he brought me out. Jesus, oh Jesus, my Lord, my God, Jesus, my rock, Jesus, my strong tower, Jesus, my helper, and God knows he is my sustainer. You can't keep yourself. Jesus. And 
I love this one. He is my joy. Hey, glory. He is my joy. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Joy unspeakable. Joy in the morning. Yes, he is. Woo. Come on, you'll catch on after a while. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo. Well, in the book of Nehemiah 8 and 10, do not grieve for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Isaiah 41 and 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do you know God is with you? Even when you don't think so. Even when you don't feel it. Because he's more than a feeling. Hey, feelings go and come. But he said, I'll never forsake you. Nor leave you. So don't worry about your feelings. He's omnipresent God. Woo, hallelujah. And it says here, do not be dismayed, for I am your God. We talk about the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But I'm talking about the God of Loreen. That's who I'm talking about. I'm making this personal with him. Hallelujah. He is my God. Why? Because he said so. Woo! I used to read that scripture about all things work together for the good. And I said one day, I had the audacity to ask the Lord about that scripture. He said, well, the only answer I can give you, it works together because I said so. I said, yes, sir, that's good enough for me. <laughs> oh, bless the Lord. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. We talked about some of that in Sunday school. And help you, Exodus 15 and 2. The Lord is my strength and my song, praising my Savior all the day long. That's my song. He has given me victory. Don't be scared of that word. Victory belongs to you. Why? Because Jesus gave you the victory. Nobody can stop him. No devil. No witch. And no psychic. Can stop God. You can look at your horoscope all you want. But I'm going to tell you something. If God say you're not getting up, I don't care what, what our name say. Because you're not getting up. We move and have our being only because of Christ. Woo! Glory to God. In every lying spirit that say anything different. You just like that lying spirit in the Bible. Or like the old saints used to say, you're a lying wonder. There is no truth in you. So all the energy that you put in for those type things. Ain't no victory in it. Victory is only in Jesus. And sometimes the enemy wants us to get caught up and distract us to everything else. But why not pick up the Bible? The word of God. That's the truth. And it will 
make you free. But <laughs> you got to love it with your whole heart, mind, soul, and body. I don't have no energy for nothing else at this age. I don't have no energy for negative stuff. I don't have no energy for you uh, talking against the church. I don't have no energy for that. Because first of all, you don't tell me what to do. I belong to Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm going to do the will of God. Why? How can I do that? Because of Holy Ghost power. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, if you're not saved, this is your time. Because the time is going to come when repentance will expire. Did in the Bible? Lord told him, it's expired. Judgment coming now. So you better hear the Spirit and act on the Spirit now while it's day. The saints used to sing a song say, payday coming after a while. And don't think you can outsmart God and try to run and get yourself ready. It's not going to happen. Sometimes when our hearts are overwhelmed, sometimes with your children, some things you're going through with, husband, friends, co-workers, all we need to do is cry out to God and ask like the widow woman did before the unjust judge. Be desperate and fear. God would place us on stable ground. You got to get rooted and grounded in the work of God, the will of God, the word of God. How can the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit bring anything to your remembrance when you don't even know where your Bible is? Packed up somewhere. In the closet. In the car trunk. The word. We shout. We enjoy the Lord in the holy dance. But guess what? Only the word of God is going to stand. So when it's all said and done, you have to be rooted and grounded in the word of God. God will lead us to safety. You scatter everything but God. Scatter anime. Scatter Jojo. Scatter everybody but God. You take his word for granted. But one day, he's coming back. God will shelter you. He will deliver you. Do you want to be delivered? Do you need to be delivered? I can answer that question. Yes, because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. Hey, glory to God. And we was talking in Sunday school, going back to Genesis, when Adam and Eve, Adam messed up, wanted to put it on the woman, but Adam messed up. So after that, we was all shaping into iniquity. I hadn't been to the club yet. I hadn't been drinking yet. I hadn't been fornicating yet. A baby. But you are shaped into iniquity. We need Jesus. Young folks, hold on to God. Hold on to God. He loves you. We love you. We will work with you. Hallelujah. We, we're not the only one with the Holy Ghost. He said he was going to pour out his spirit. Joel. All flesh. And you know what else too? You don't, somebody said to me, uh, they got to get the, 
Holy Ghost like I got it. I said, honey, they don't have to wait no 10 years to get the Holy Ghost. Taryn. And I know, I'm not knocking that, but God filled me with the Holy Ghost. Not many days after I got saved. And they wanted me to stay on the altar. I said, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm saved and sanctified, but I'm, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm ready to go to work. <clears throat> so we don't want to try to mold and make nobody after us. The point where healing begins, hope, or hope rises. And a new day dawns. When Jesus came into my life, it was like a new day. Like I was just born. A new day. A new day for the outcast who's rejected because they're different, looked down upon, alienated, shut out. That's okay. Because you can also be shut in by a new birth in the name of Jesus. <laughs> because there is no other name whereby we can be saved. You can call on Buddha. <laughs> Buddha. You can call on your car. Your house. Oh, glory to God. Your furniture. You can call on me, but I can't help you. Woo! I need help too. Woo, Jesus. I had to call on Jesus for myself. I told my children one time, I said, you can't go up on me. And I said, furthermore, if you try to catch my leg, I'm going to shake you off. You got to get Jesus in your heart for yourself. Yes, act like you got Jesus. I don't have no pity party. When I'm at home, I have a run around the kitchen to the living room. I said, well, I better not run outside. They might call 911. But then I thought about it. I said, my neighbors know me because I've been to the house and I witnessed to them, prayed with them. Hallelujah. A new day. How many want a new beginning? Hallelujah. While we were yet sinners, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You don't have to perish. They discovered, the people, that they not only been found but they are wanted and they belong. Romans 10, 9 and 10. Come on. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. That's the word. When I came to the church, I didn't have to take off nothing yet. I just came as I was. Wounded. A sinner. Messed up. Addicted to drugs. Alcohol, and 
whatever else. You know what we were doing. You know how you were slipping when mom went to sleep. It wasn't nothing for us to hide. She went up and crawl out. <laughs> they couldn't hear us. And you weren't afraid of the darkness. Three, two o'clock in the morning. You weren't worried about nobody murdering you. You want to get your stuff on. You want to do your gig. I had a gig, honey. Me and my brother, we go to the club and we come on out. Everybody just give us the flow. And we took over, Bishop. And dance all night. What the song said, all night. So I gave it all I had in the world. Now we come in. Good gracious. I'm glad when I preach, I'm in the spirit. Because nobody, I got to do the will of God. So I'm not worried about uh, who accepts God's word. God's word is, so I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is that what's going to happen to me if I don't do his will. Tell the truth. I ain't fixing up nothing for my children and nobody else. We don't want to be rejected. Yet, he was despised and rejected. It, he didn't look all beautiful and all of that, that we want to be drawn to him. You know how sometimes you see a fella in the mall, and you say, wow, <laughs> You know how everything is in place. But until you get it, Jesus, you didn't realize what you hooked up with. But when you hook up with Jesus, he'll make you a new creature. All things pass away. I got a new mind. I looked at my hands. They look new. I looked at my feet. Woo! And they did too. And I did not have to go back into my mother's womb. A new attitude. Pruning, purging on the wheel. Sometimes he has to slap us back up there. But that's okay. I want to go to heaven and be with the Lord. So, thank you, Jesus. Now we are saved. Under the sound of my voice, in church, the media, this is your time. You need to hear what the Spirit is saying. Hallelujah. While it is day, we need to hear. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. Don't be afraid to be a witness. And let people know that you're saved. You don't know who you're helping. You were in shackles. <laughs> you were not always free. You were bound just like anybody else. You had issues. You got some now that we're dealing with. But that's okay. God understands what we're going through. He cares for you. He is worthy is the Lamb of God. Worthy. Messiah. Yes, Lord. 
he suffered. He was humiliated. He was beat. He was spit on. The Messiah, our Lord and Savior, he had no sin. He was sinless. But he took the punishment for our sins. Jesus, the blood of Jesus was shed for you and you. Yes, he did. He loved us. He loved us. He didn't care about being mistreated. He came to do his father's will. Nothing deterred him. Nothing stopped him. Nothing. Hallelujah. Because the Father and Jesus are one. Suffering servant. They hated him without a cause. They hated him for doing miraculous things, for healing the sick, opening the blinded eyes. They hated him. They rejected him. And today, he's yet being rejected. But after a while, after a while, yes, Lord, after a while, he's coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle. Be holy. Christians, be holy. It's a lifestyle. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. That's no excuse because you don't have to stay there. You can get up and repent. He's faithful and just to forgive you. He's coming back. All this stuff that you got going on, you better get rid of it. And stop the devil from telling you lies. Well, she don't like me. She didn't look at me. Well, you come to me and give me a hug. Holiness without no man shall see the Lord. Be ye holy, for I am holy. God has never called us to a place where he can't keep us. If you get weak, that's just a good time for God to show you who he is. God of mercy, God of compassion, God higher of love, understanding, forgiveness. Jesus, open your mouth and call out to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But ye shall receive power. Acts 1 and 8. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. What you gonna do with the power? Don't let the devil ride you. Rebuke him in the name of Jesus. Cast the devil out. Cast the devil out. Out of your mind. Don't accept everything he brings to you. Garbage. I'm not a trash, trash can for nobody. I'm 
clean. I've been washed. Woo! He made me righteous. I couldn't become that myself. I don't care how many times I didn't drink. That didn't make me righteous. It just made me a better person, probably. Or kept me from dying from alcohol. But God, he baptized us, Jesus, with the Holy Ghost and with fire. And I like to, we talked about it this morning. Hallelujah. About he's coming back on a cloud. And every eye shall see him. A shout with the voice of the archangel. And with the trump of God. The dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. You know, sometimes we need God. And I have to rebuke the enemy. He don't want me to open my mouth. He don't want me to tell God thank you. But I've learned. I've matured some more. Because there's always room for growth. And when I get up now, it come in my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I used to say to my father, I thank God for another day. He called me Reem. He said, Reem, not just another day, but a brand new day that we've never seen before. And the Holy Ghost will bring to my remembrance. Somebody blessed me the other day. A lot of groceries. Because I don't get no re retirement and no social security. But God, I've never been forsaken. Never. So now, harvest is coming. It's coming. An explosion is coming. Somebody called me and said, just make your list up. I said, I do better than that. I go with you. I said, Lord, look at this. Mother, they bought me over $400 worth of groceries. Thank you. Got another call from my granddaughter, Brianna. She said, Grandmama, I thank you for all you did for me. You didn't turn me away, you didn't cast me out. She said, I want to do something for you. And she said, Do you need some more groceries? <laughs> and at times, occasionally, she put money in my account. Because when she, was, uh, when she was out there, didn't have nowhere to stay, I put her up. Hold on, oh, shut up. I suffered. But let me tell you something. Be not weary in well-doing. If you faint not, you're going to reap. You're going to reap. Seven children. One arm deposit some money for me every month into my account. And to keep me from having to cook on the weekend, he give us money to go out and eat. 
seven children. Took me a while, Sister Wilson, but they are a gift. No matter what, they pretty. No matter what, don't give your children up. Don't give them up. I told the devil, I said, you can't have not a one of my children. Grandchildren, great grandchildren, and them I'll never know. Because my manner is on them, and that's holiness. Blessings coming in. When I got my new car out there, I was making payments. One year, God paid it off. No car, no. Clothes. I must say, I'm looking pretty good today. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm looking pretty good today. This is the Lord's doing. Ella Hall look good too. Hallelujah. He's looking good too. The children. I remember a time, Ella Sewell, when Ella Hall only had two suits. Now the closet is running over. Shoes, clothes, hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't give up. Look at you. Look what God brought you from. Look what he has done for you. Hold on to your children. Let the devil know you can't have your way. Rebuke him. He comes to destroy, to rob, to kill. Asked him where he was going. What did he say? To and fro. Seeking whom I may devour. You come to my house. I got the blood on the doorpost. I got the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh, glory to God. I'm grateful. Can everybody stand? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, no, 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 no. He baba. He's worthy. God gave me something in my spirit. Because I go in my prayer closet and I talk to the Lord. And then I hear what the Spirit is saying to me. God is taking Carol of his coming ministry higher have not seen what he gonna do in here the ministries that's coming under our apostle I know we say bishop but he's an apostle ministries are coming more more is coming I've your tears I've heard your cry and the harvest is coming in anybody that don't want to be involved that's okay cause God got multitudes multitudes I said multitudes because this ministry has been lost abroad. And the multitude came. A holy man of God. People are looking for soundness, holiness. Not you just operating gifts and not living holy. Not living holy. God is holy. Oh, how we 
we long to be like Jesus, I encourage you, seek him first, Matthew 6 and 33, in his kingdom. Quit worrying about everything else. If you obey the word of God, everything else will be added. Never hall never had a savings account. God told me He's getting ready to start me one. He said to me, I saw your faithfulness. And because of your faithfulness, don't worry about the fact that you don't work. You didn't work. He said, because eyes, that's another strip to say, ears go tingle. That's two, but this one I like. Gonna tingle. Oh, what in the world are them to the hoes? Jesus, my ears are tingling. Okay, be faithful. Be faithful. Don't let the devil fool you now and make you become unfaithful to God. Don't do it. He's lurking. But remember, if you got the Holy Ghost, you got some power. And he's the one that's going to get a whooping. The devil. Miracles. Signs and wonders. Deacon Green. Miracles. A lot of us are miracles worked by God. Anybody need prayer? Anything that you need today? The pool is troubled. He's ready to bless you. He's ready to do the impossible. He's ready. Yes, Lord. I am a sight. There's a person on this altar that you are very, very hungry. You're undecided on what to do. But today, God has given you your answer. He set you free. God, your life will never be the same because the truth has made you free. Thank you. The truth about Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The struggle is over. The battle has already been won. The battle in the mind, yeah, in your heart, in the family, it's won. Can't you see him hanging on the cross? Can't you see him stretched out for you? For you. We pray that something was said or something was done that will encourage you to help you to make it through your week. We pray that God has an abundance in your life. So we're asking you to tune in same place, same time on next Sunday with the morning worship experience with the Herald. And here at the Herald, our bishop always says, let the light on the inside shine brighter than the light on the outside.